iOS 16.5 is finally here and this is one of the last big updates to iOS 16. Now of course this brings a few new features and changes, but not a lot of those as we got on iOS 16.4. But still there are some features and changes that you probably don't know about and probably won't even notice using your device on daily basis. So here are 10 hidden features that you will be able to find on your device running iOS 16.5. First of all, if you head on to the Apple Watch app, of course, if you have an Apple Watch and you have it connected to your iPhone, head on to the general settings right here and go to software update and you will notice that now you will have the same update system as the iOS devices. So you will have basically here a new section for beta updates. This will allow you to update your Apple Watch to beta software pretty easily. You can choose the dev software or you can choose the public beta software if you want to update to that. Or if you don't want to do that, you want to just opt out, you can simply tap on off right there. Moving on to settings, if you head on to the settings app and go under accessibility, if you go to voiceover, what you will find right here are commands. Now we have a couple new commands with iOS 16.5. So all you have to do is go to all commands and then right here you will find scrolling. So there's scrolling. So what we got new with iOS 16.5 is scroll to top and also scroll to bottom right there. These are two new commands that will allow you to quickly scroll all the way to the top or all the way to the bottom. Of course, always using voice control. Now we got a new section for sports here on the news app. You probably have heard about it. There are a few changes here as well. Now one of them will be here. Of course, once you go to sports, you will have at the top all sports and you can go ahead and filter your sports here. And on the other side, if you go right there, you can go ahead and manage all of your sports here or copy the link or even share your sports directly from there. Another change here on the sports tab, if you go to the sports tab and you scroll down here and you will see your scores and schedules, basically you will have these kind of cards here for all of your sports that you have been following here on the app. Once you tap on one of them, it will actually redirect you to this page which will show you all the different details regarding uh, that match. Now one interesting thing with the new sports tab, you cannot actually watch anything here. You can see right there, there is a button basically to open this on the Apple TV. So once you try to open something to watch, it will actually open it on the Apple TV app and not here on the news app. We also got some new buttons with iOS 16.5 on the news app. So once you go to the news app, you will find at the top right there the bookmark and then you will have those two like fingers there. So if you tap on it, it will actually show you a menu where you can suggest more or suggest less. So basically, choose anything you want based on the article that you're reading. Now another new feature here is that if you tap the three dots there, you will find text size right here. So it has been removed. Basically it was here, it has been moved right there. And of course, from here also have all the other things like you can undo suggest more directly from there or share and do everything else. But you will have the text size right there and it will pop up like this once you tap it. We can also change, of course, the size of the text on that article. Now, one interesting thing on articles is that previously we used to have arrows to actually switch between articles. That unfortunately has been removed with iOS 16.5. So we no longer have that as an option. The only way to actually move between articles will be by swiping like this, of course, swipe on an article, you can swipe left and right to move to different articles and no longer have access to the arrows. Next up, we're moving back again to the settings app. So go to settings. And if you have any app that's used for payments, like I have Stripe right here, you will find a new option that will allow your iPhone to always play sounds on the lock screen when you make different payments, no matter whether the ring button here is on mute or not, it will always play a sound. As you probably know, we got an awesome new wallpaper with iOS 16.5 and it has a really cool animation. It also has a dark mode and a light mode, which is really, really cool. But did you know that Apple has actually created also a new section for wallpapers for Pride? So you will have this new one and the older one, which was actually part of iOS 16, the initial release. So you will have now a new section here just above the emoji section. 
And for the last one, we're moving to the shortcuts app. Now I did leave this feature the last one on this list because I'm not sure if it's new on iOS 16.5 or it has been added on iOS 16.4. Either way, it's really awesome and probably most of you guys don't know about it. So on a shortcut, tap on the share button, actually it's 3D touch on the shortcut. And what you can do here is tap on details. Once you tap on details, you can go to privacy and then you will have a button here that will allow to run a shortcut even when the device is locked. Now this is, this is actually really important because if you create like an automation that will run a shortcut at a certain time, the shortcut won't actually run unless you have this button enabled. So when the device is locked, no shortcut will run until you have this in, in, enabled for every shortcut, which is again, really, really cool and a nice option to have. Now that we're done with the new hidden features, let's quickly talk about some really important things regarding iOS 16.5. And of course, one of them is battery. So here we have like the battery life that I got on iOS 16.5. Now I have been using this software since beta one. And these are here some numbers that I got. And this right here is actually pretty cool. You can see what I have here at around 100 and maybe 30 to 35% 14 hours on screen right there. You can see here at around 110, nine hours. You can see right here at around maybe 70, four hours, 47 minutes. And we got some better times here, but again, battery life is looking quite good in my opinion on iOS 16.5. Now these are of course always based on how you use your iPhone, whether you're playing a game or maybe using a lot of LTE or 5G instead of Wi-Fi. But again, in my experience, iOS 16.5 actually has quite a good battery life. And when compared to iOS 16.4, I can say that it is slightly better than iOS 16.4. Talking performance, this is the best score that I got from iOS 16.5. So this is with Geekbench 6, the single core score at 2,531, while we have the multi-core score here at 6,528. Again, a really, really great score on performance on iOS 16.5. Of course, you can expect something like this from an update that is a 0.5, it's quite high. And now of course it doesn't even have a lot of new features. So Apple is focusing more on polishing iOS 16 and make it run really, really smooth. So now that we're done with iOS 16.5, we could expect a new beta for iOS 16.6 actually as soon as this week, maybe later this week, maybe next week, but iOS 16.6 will be released this month on its first beta probably will be a minor update with not a lot of new features and changes as we're expecting to see the first beta of iOS 17 in about what we have 20 days now we should get the first beta of iOS 17 so that's really really exciting so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and subscribe for more if you did of course don't forget to smash the like button on this one and I'll see you on the next video